welcome to first video on my channel. I'm going to show you how to cook uh, different meals. And I'm gonna start off with a very simple dessert recipe for semolina pudding, chocolate pudding. So let's come over and look at what we need. The first thing is some milk. I definitely recommend using whole milk, uh, not some low fat uh, thing. Then some chocolate, uh, it should be uh, but some good quality chocolate, it doesn't have to be any high class gourmet chocolate but it definitely shouldn't be any cheap shit. We need some semolina, I'm actually using uh, buckwheat grits but it works just as well and it has a distinct taste. Uh, with, uh, some sugar and that's actually about it. Well, first I'm going to heat up the milk and bring it to boil. Now we, we just wait for milk to come to boil and then I'll show you to do next. So now the milk is slowly beginning to boil. So now we very slowly put in the semolina. Now, uh, I know the amount uh, of semolina in the recipe, it seems like it's very little, uh, 6 to 1 ratio, but believe me, it's really enough. Uh, when I first got this recipe, I put in quite a lot, uh, quite a bit more, and it was really thick, um, there were some dry pieces, so believe me, the ratio is good. It's really the ideal consistency, not too runny, not too solid. But you can experiment, but this is a very good uh, ratio to start with, so trust me on this. So now we stir it in and we stir and stir and wait and wait, it can take up to 10 minutes, but eventually it starts to thicken. Now we can see the mixture has thickened already, so now we put on the rest of the ingredients. So, I always recommend putting in some sugar, but just one spoon should be enough for this portion. Uh, these are two portions actually, so one spoon of sugar should be enough. I don't like having desserts too sweet because then it kinda beats the flavor. You can't taste anything over the sweetness itself, so I usually keep back on the sugar. And now the chocolate itself, once the mixture is thick, we don't really need uh, to be careful with the chocolate, it dissolves very nicely, so we just put it in and mix. Again, uh, the type of chocolate you use determines what taste you get. Um, if you want the really deep dark chocolatey taste, you can use some high cocoa dark chocolate. If you are looking for a creamy flavor, uh, you can use milk chocolate like I just did. And my secret, uh, this is baking aroma, this is uh, almond. Uh, kind of marzipan like aroma so I just put in two tiny drops so there's just a little hint of marzipan in the aroma of the pudding so that's a really nice twist so, oh, so the mixture is complete now I just put it in these mugs very carefully it can get messy Yeah. 
get the every little bit out. I don't like to waste anything. So and this is it. This is chocolate semolina pudding. You can eat it straight away. Right, hot. Well, <laughs> I apologize for unnecessary cut, but it's a little awkward. But we ran off uh, space on the memory card. So as I was saying, you can eat it hot uh, as it is, or you can put it in the refrigerator and it gets solid, more solid, and it tastes very well. Well, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you tried and enjoy it and that's about it. Thank you for watching.